Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your trainer for this Azure Administrator Associate Certification Examination course. We are at module 11, which is all about Azure monitoring. In this lesson, we're going to learn about log analytics. Let's have a look at what are the things we are going to learn on this lesson. We will start with what is log analytics and I will take you through the Azure portal to show you how to create a workspace and what are the connected sources available within log analytics and similarly the data sources as well. And we will learn about how to query and what is the query language syntax you can use it in the log analytics. While I'm explaining about these concepts, I will take you back and forth the Azure portal and the presentation so you exactly know what I mean by these. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Log Analytics is a service that helps you collect and analyze data generated by resources in your cloud and on-premises environment. These log queries help you to fully leverage the value of the data collected in the Azure Monitor logs. A powerful query language allows you to join data from multiple tables, aggregate large sets of data, and perform complex operations with minimal code. Virtually any questions can be answered and analysis performed as long as the supporting data has been collected and you understand how to construct the right query. So let me show you how to access the log analytics workspaces. I already have one default created just now. I'm going to select the log analytics workspace. Some features of the Azure Monitor such as insights and solutions processes log data without exposing you to the underlying queries. To fully leverage other features of Azure Monitor, you should understand how queries are constructed and how you can use them to interactively analyze data in Azure Monitor logs. So how do you create your first log analytics it's super simple so within the azure portal go to log analytics and click on add a log analytics workspace all you have to do is create a new resource group or select an existing one and name your log analytics instance name and pick a region and under the pricing tier this is where you can see how much it is going to cost and hit on review and create. That's how you create a log analytics workspace. Let's understand the connected sources. Connected sources are the computers and other resources that generate data collected by log analytics. This can include agents installed on Windows and Linux computers that connect directly or agents in a connected system center operation manager management group. Log analytics can also collect data from Azure storage. So what about the data sources? Data sources are the different kind of data collected from each connected source. These can include events and performance data from Windows and Linux agents. In addition to sources such as IIS logs and custom text logs. The data source include Windows event logs, Windows performance counters, Linux performance counters, IIS logs, custom field, and custom logs. Each data source has additional configuration options. For example, the Windows event log can be configured to forward error, warning, or information messages. And log analytics provide a query syntax to quickly retrieve and consolidate data in the repository. You can create and save log searches to directly analyze data in the portal or have log searches run automatically to create an alert if the result of the query indicate an important condition. To give you a quick graphical view of the health of the overall environment, you can add visualizations for saved searches, for saved log searches to your dashboard. To analyze data outside of the log analytics, 
you can export the data from the repository into tools such as Power BI or Excel. You can also leverage the Log Search API to build custom solutions that leverage log analytics data or to integrate with other systems. When you build a query, you start by determining which tables have the data that you are looking for. Each data source and solution stores its data in dedicated tables in the log analytics workspace. Many queries will only require data from single table, but others may use a variety of options to include data from multiple tables. So that concludes the lesson on log analytics. In the next video, we're going to learn about Network Watcher. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.